this video you will learn how to consolidate data from multiple files so in this example I want to consolidate data in this yearly sale sheet and we have multiple sheets for four quarters okay we have four sheets for each quarter and each sheet has different number of records so Q1 has 225 records Q2 has 247 Q3 has 236 and Q4 has 278 records, right? So we'll use these sheets to consolidate data in yearly sales sheet. So first go to yearly sales sheet and go to data. And under data tools, click on consolidate button. So let me first quickly delete these existing entries here. I'm selecting it and pressing Alt D for delete. Now in order to Select this function, click on the drop down and select the function that you want to apply on consolidated data. And then in the references text box, go to Q1 sheet and select your data, including headers, and click on add button here. Similarly, delete this and then go to Q2, select entire data again, including headers, and click on add. Right again, delete this, go to Q3 select data and click on add and similarly for the fourth file select entire data and click on add and here you need to specify which labels you want to include labels from the top row and the left column i will select both the checkboxes and i have also selected this checkbox create links to the source data so if i check this box it will create consolidated data that is linked to the source files in case you make any changes to the source files, the consolidated data also changes. Okay. Now click on OK. And in the yearly sheet, you can see that we have all the data from four sheets. And now when you consolidate data, it shows you unique items. Right Here Alice Martin is shown once. And here is the sum of all the values from four quarters. Okay. You can see that here Alice Martin is repeated multiple times in each file but in consolidated data you see only unique values and then the sum function or the aggregate function whatever aggregate function you have selected it will be done accordingly the calculation will be done accordingly and now this data is linked to the source files how if you look at these plus signs these are outlines click on any plus sign and it will expand it for single product in this case it is Alice Martin and you can see that uh, it is also showing me from which file the data is coming right so all these values are coming from q1 sheet and from this point it starts from q2 file okay so similarly you can check this the values are coming from the other files and here we have some function whatever aggregate function you have selected it will calculate accordingly so if I make changes to any file, it will reflect here. Now for example, for Q1, I make changes to Alice Martin. And uh, let me add 1000 here. Okay, now go to yearly sheet, you can see 1000 here. Okay, so click on one to collapse all the buttons here. And that's how it works. I hope you found it useful. For more such videos, please subscribe to my channel and do like and share this video. Thanks a lot for watching.